on you guys it's your boy alex west collects here bringing you the most in-depth action figure views here on youtube and today we're taking a wwe mattel elite series 111 featuring the first time in the line we have the ecw sandman the american nightmare cody rhodes and a modern day trish stratus if you are interested in adding any of these figures to your collection head over to ringsidecollectibles.com use promo code for life to save 10 percent off your order at checkout I'm very pumped for this set. What a banger of a set. Elite 111. Uh, we do have the first time in the line ECW Sandman. Uh, you can see he does have the ECW shirt with the black and white pants. He has four beer cans. You can see one of mine is kind of popping out here, but that's okay. We're going to open up this figure. He does come with the Singapore cane or the kendo stick, whatever you want to call it. A set of interchangeable hands as well. This figure looks so good. I cannot wait to get out of the box. Uh, the Cody Rhodes figure. When this was revealed, I thought it was the Royal Rumble uh, from last year. Uh, victory for Cody I, I, but it's not I think it's a SummerSlam attire uh, from what Mattel has been telling us but we are getting a brand new head with Cody and, and what a surprise we didn't know he was coming with two heads so that is nice that they did include the screaming scan you get all your traditional interchangeable hands with Cody but one thing I'm noticing he does not have a weight belt which is uh, a, a little surprising I don't know why that was not included it just kind of slipped my mind now that I'm looking I was like there's no weight belt with Cody and I believe this is the first elite figure that does not have it so that's a little disappointing pointing i do have an extra which i probably will slap on there to kind of complete this look but uh cody does not have the weight belt i know someone's gonna drop down in the comments that he didn't wear it at that match or whatever but whatever man and of course the trish stratus i loved her return run i feel like she's retired like so many times but she keeps coming back and she still has it i mean so her matches with becky lynch were phenomenal the heel trish stratus was just awesome uh great run i'm glad we're gonna figure to kind of uh you know remember that time from but for your ultimate, uh, excuse me, uh, elite boxes, you get your standard elite packaging here for 2024. If you want to flip over to the side here, you will get the larger nameplates of each wrestler. Flipping all the way on the other side, you will get the images of each wrestler as well. And on the back, get the large images as well as the other figures in the wave. Enough chatting, let's come back and get all these figures out of their packaging. Starting us off, we are taking the Trish Stratus out of the packaging. And her last run, I just want to say thank you, Trish, right? Her heel run was phenomenal. Uh, being in her late 40s, still being able to perform like she can is just unbelievable. Uh, I feel like that's not just motivation for women. That's motivation for everyone to take care of themselves and age gracefully. Because Trish Stratus is just living life uh, at, at a high. She's just doing so great. So I want to say she is an inspiration even to me as a man. Uh, Trish Stratus is just killing it right uh accessory wise for this figure you get a set of the interchangeable mic open holding hands as well as another set of the pointing finger which is the other one on the actual figure itself she comes with this awesome entrance uh jacket and hat uh it is removable we'll take the the you know hat off of the figure uh you can see it does have some kind of like uh, silver paint detailing on there looks pretty nice kind of like a cowboy s cat a throwback to her original kind of look if you uh you know i would say uh the actual trench coat she does have or entrance jacket does have some nice fur on the top uh the rest of it just kind of plain black but really looks nice feels nice and soft uh we will get this off of the figure and you know when i saw this uh coat on her i was like i hope she doesn't stay man because this jacket does look awesome i would love to keep it on this figure and hopefully not have to worry about black marks on the arms but we're getting it off want to be careful do not want to rip this beautiful entrance coat uh, if you do want to take a quick look at it off the figure fortunately the sleeves are inverted but you can see how it looks nice and soft i feel like the mattel fabric team has been killing it and taking a quick look maybe a little slight black stain right there nothing too crazy that i'm noticing there is some slight slight stain so this will probably end up staining the figure in the long run if you ask me but um let's not worry about that now i mean i hope that's not the case it's very slight but i like this head sculpt i feel like some people are saying they don't see trish stratus i think it's an, an okay likeness I don't think it's perfect. I don't think they quite nailed it, but it doesn't look as bad as some of the other uh, Trish figures that we've got in the past. Her entire is pretty much straight black for her heel run. You can see the black upper singlet here. Continuing on, you can see the black uh, tights here with some kind of brown accents. Take a look at the back. It says, thank you, Trish. You can see the studs here on the top. She does have this kind of like black and brown wrist tape as well on both hands. Uh, does have the nice blonde hair with a kind of brown. 
traditional Trish Stratus hair. You can see the black kickers here as well. She does still have this basic articulation hinge. Like, I don't understand it. Why, do, why are we still seeing this on figures, man? Especially the female characters. If you guys want to run through some quick articulation, her head will fully rotate. The hair does hinder it a bit, but you can still get away with it. Her arm will also fully rotate. She does have a bicep cut, which is a little stiff on mine. She does have the double jointed elbows. Also a little stiff on mine. The hands do uh, rotate as well as hinge. She does have a diaphragm cut for the women figures. She also does have waist swivel. She does the splits pretty good. I believe she is on ball joint. She kicks up about that much. Her knees do bend. She does have the pin legs. She does have a boot cut. Again, it is the basic hinge articulation on the on the boot itself. Uh, but decent articulation here for Trish Stratus. For your Trish Stratus comparison, so you want to talk bad Trish Stratus heads. Here we have the Elite 88 figure here on the left. This head was oof. And on the right, we have a very early Mattel, the Elite 24. You will see this brand new Elite 111 is significantly shorter than the others. Uh, I don't know what the deal is here, but I will say I think... The new Trish is probably the more accurate height. She is on the shorter side. Uh, if you want to see her versus the Elite 88, it's a little shorter. I think this head looks it looks decent compared next to the others. I, like I said, it's not perfect, but from this angle, to me, it captures a decent likeness of Trish. The next figure we are taking late is Cody Rhodes. And do you guys have Cody fatigue? Because honestly, I don't. I feel like we've gotten so many elites since he's come back. But I absolutely have loved every elite and ultimate figure that has come out. Even the basics, I feel myself uh, buying. But accessory-wise, you do get a set of interchangeable mic open holding hands. You will get a set of the fisted hands here as well. All of these uh, white taped hands do have the white peg, which is really nice. He does have the uh, woe hands or the open hands that come on the figure. Additionally, with this brand new head sculpt you do get uh this screaming scan here which we have seen uh now with the ultimate figures all alone this is the first time we're seeing in the elite wave uh they all do have the tattoo on the jaw unfortunately uh like i said i've grown to like it it is inaccurate i will say but uh, i don't know let me know down in the comments would you prefer mattel to fix it because we've got so many cody's now with the tattoo coming onto his face or do you kind of uh, learn to uh, grow and accept it like I have that say it, it, it could be worse. Um, uh, I don't really hate it as much as I thought I originally did when it first came out. But look at this new head. He kind of has, I don't know, this is just a weird expression. It's like, uh, what should I have for breakfast? Mm, you're like looking at a menu. What should I order? I don't know. I guess this probably was captured from a moment where he maybe won the match or maybe he's about to get emotional. Maybe if you have him like sitting here about to cry, I don't know. It's just a weird expression. Like I've never seen, uh, you know, kind of just like a tight lip kind of expression here. The rest of the Cody figure is what you'd expect for your traditional formula. Do, he does have the uh, chest hair with the dream tattoo here. Again, we did see the neck tattoo on this figure. The tights do look really nice. Mine do have a slight nick here on the front, which is really annoying. It's like right on the freaking crotch, man. Couldn't have been like anywhere on the side where it could have been like a little less noticeable. But the gear, I believe, is from a SummerSlam. I do not think uh, this is from... I know it's not from the Royal Rumble. That is a figure that we all want. I'm sure this year's Royal Rumble Elite Wave will have that Cody uh, from two years ago, not from the past year where he won... Uh, and then went to defeat Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. That's the gear that a lot of us want. So hopefully we do get it. You can see the nice designs here with the stars and the eagles. Uh, you get the American Nightmare logo on the boots. We've seen this before. Take a look at the back of his tight detailing here. Looks pretty good. If you guys do want to swap out uh, this kind of straight face scan for the screaming scan to see what it looks like. We can pop it on real th uh, on there. You can have Cody coming out, celebrating you know, doing his entrance or after winning a match. Uh, personally, I think I've had enough of this head. I'm going to go with this new head sculpt uh, for my display. Jumping into some Cody Rhodes comparisons. So like I said, we've gotten quite a few different elites since his return. I'm not going to pull them all here for comparisons, but we do have some of them. Uh, we have the Elite 101. This was the first American Nightmare version of Cody Rhodes when he came back. Absolutely love this figure. This was actually just released as a top picks. We have the Mattel Creations Ultimate Edition figure. You can see how much bigger he towers versus the Elite figures. We have the brand new Ultimate Edition Series 21. Probably my favorite Cody Rhodes in my collection with the uh, 110 title that came with Roman Reigns. And of course, we also do have the Defining Moments Bruce Peck Cody Rhodes, still another favorite of mine. If you were curious to see what the weight belt looked like on this figure since uh, it was not included, I don't even know, I would assume he had an American Nightmare weight belt, a white one. I don't know what he wore during the event. Someone will, will probably know better than I do because I feel like I am not the best gear aficionado, but 
that's how the weight belt looks on this figure. If you were curious to throw, if you had an extra one on, you can definitely slap it on this Cody. And the last figure that we we're taking a look at from this set, one that I was highly anticipating and just came out of nowhere when it was announced. We have the ECW Sandman figure. I can hear Enter Sandman playing now for like 25 minutes of him just slugging beers and having a quick two-minute burner match. Uh, but, you know, like this is just a figure, like I said, I really wanted for my collection. I'm glad it's finally here. So accessory-wise, you will get the more open hands here from to hold his, the beers, as you can see, displayed here uh, on the figure. He also does come with a set of these smaller mic open holding hands from to hold the Singapore cane. You do get four total beer cans here. They are just, you know, some plain silver cans if you guys want to get a quick look. Uh, just like we got with the Monday Night War Stone Cold Steve Austin. They do have the tabs on them up top if you guys can see that. So that looks pretty cool. You can have Sandman smashing beers on his head just freaking chugging them in. It's awesome. Uh, again, you do get the cane. Or the kendo stick, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the other beer can, you get four total. Uh, so he also does come with this barbed wire. I did not play with this, so I do not know how it looks on the figure or how it comes off. It looks like this is molded in the wrap and these kind of just hang off, if I had to guess. So maybe if you pop the head off, because all Elite and uh, Mattel figures do have the interchangeable head feature. I guess you can kind of pop it off. I'm just scared that I'm going to take this off and I'll never be able to get it back on because this looks pretty badass on the display here. Uh, I guess you just kind of slide it off. I don't really know, to be honest with you guys. Uh, I don't really... I'm, I'm really hesitant to take this off. I'm not going to lie. Does it just wrap? It looks like you can actually unwrap it. And I'm going to regret doing this. I know it. But here we go. We're going to unwrap it. For figure review's sake, ah, oh man, that'll never look as good as it did. So if you guys want to keep it on display, but it is a nice kind of like wrapped uh, or softly wrapped barbed wire. You can see all the different slits on there. It looks pretty sick, man, actually. Uh, there is one piece that did kind of come off. I don't know where the hell that was. I don't know if that broke or what news to me man i don't know i really regret doing that now that it's off because i feel like that just looked pretty sick let's get his head back on this head sculpt is freaking perfect if you ask me like that's sandman to a t like look at that look at the likeness to sandman here just looks so sick really love the head sculpt here uh he does have the ecw t-shirt here you see it, uh, extreme championship wrestling it does velcro here on the back which we will remove off of the figure for you guys. To see underneath, he does have a white tank top. So you can see how that looks here with Sandman. Personally, I'm keeping the t-shirt on, but just for, for review's sake, you can see the size of the arms. Of course, the kind of like 90s like uh, workout pants that he used to wear. You can see all these different skulls on here. It looks pretty cool, man. Really nicely detailed. Uh, very ECW-esque early 90s you can see the sneaker mold here he does have the white designs on there as well looks really good absolutely loving this there are no complaints about it you get everything you'd want for an elite sandman and just because it's Sandman, let's get an image of him holding the two beers. I could just picture him chugging them, pouring it all over himself. I can't wait to see people who do the, this amazing figure photography like Figure Kingdom or uh, Squared Circle Photography is one that comes to mind that's going to capture the likes. I can just imagine a shot of Sandman having uh, these beers in his hand and just pouring it into a fan, uh, taking a sip in the crowd. Man, that was just some stuff we will never see again in our lifetime for sure in professional wrestling. Since this is the first Sandman figure in the Mattel line, I wanted to bring some of my favorite ECW uh, characters from the Mattel line here to pair with this Sandman figure. So we have the ECW Legends Greatest Hits Terry Funk here on the left. This is kind of more of a WCW Legends figure, but we have the Legends Paul Heyman with the ECW hat. Even though they are not in their ECW attire, we do have the Dudley Boys. We are getting an ECW version as a Mattel Creations exclusive. Cannot wait for that. And of course, probably uh, the one of the most famous ECW wrestlers of all time, we have Rob Van Dam. If you guys have enjoyed this video review, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know all your thoughts on these three figures and if you will be adding any to your collection. Please remember to stay tuned on those notification bells to stay tuned to the newest action figure reviews here on my channel. My personal take will start from left to right. Cody Rhodes is another solid figure. I absolutely love this gear. It is so nice. Uh, I love all the white, red, and blue with the gold. Uh, unfortunately, again, mine had a little bit of a paint nick, but no complaints. I will say the head sculpt, it's nice that we're finally getting something new. 
do. Uh, I don't like the fact that we did not get a weight belt. And I really, at this point, would just love to see an Elite Cody with a t-shirt. I know we can get the entrance coat as an Elite. I know that's probably going to be more for an ultimate execution, but... Maybe a t-shirt would have been something to put this figure over. Uh, but I do like it. I love the gear. The new head sculpt is okay. And I do appreciate that they threw in the screaming skin. So no complaints. Another great Cody figure to add to your collection. I'm happy to have it. I may actually even grab another uh, due to this uh, little stupid defect because I am OCD crazy. Trish Stratus, I like this figure. I know some people are going to disagree with me and say it looks awful and the head sculpt looks nothing like her. I see a good likeness to her. I will say it is not perfect. Uh, it is not Bret Hart-esque where they just completely butchered it. I think I, I do see the likeness and i actually do like it um i will say i'm a little worried about the coat staining this figure but you know what uh she looks great in it the entrance hat and the jacket just look phenomenal i i just love everything about this figure one of my favorite trish stratus figures in my collection still waiting for the definitive version of her in her ring gear uh with all this modern technology would like to see mattel take a crack at that i feel like she deserves an ultimate uh without a doubt she is a hall of famer and probably in my opinion the best woman wrestler of all time the sandman I absolutely love it. I was able to kind of do my own kind of uh, barbed wire tie around him. It doesn't look as clean as the Mattel version. So I will say if you guys are OCD like me, don't take it off because you're not going to take this t-shirt off this figure for the most part. There is a chase version. Don't forget, he does have the kind of red, white, and blue look. I will be looking to add it to my collection. I promise you, I will not remove the barbed wire off of that figure. Love everything about it. The head sculpt to me looks perfect. Uh, I love the t-shirt. I love the, the workout pants, the sneakers. You get four beer cans, the perfect interchangeable hands. If you guys want to have the, the cane in his hand or you want to have him holding multiple beers, you get the larger hands i think this figure is a 10 out of 10 i highly recommend it i actually recommend all these figures i really do like it these three are without a doubt my some of my favorite figures that i've received from mattel in a while this was really fun to review for you guys i hope you guys have enjoyed uh if you are interested in grabbing any of them they are now in stock and shipping from ringsidecollectibles.com when you guys shop there's discount code for life it will save you 10 percent when you order over there uh before you go, don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok at alex west collects thank you for tuning in i hope to catch you on the next video review